We've just learned the President has vetoed the Food, Energy, and Conservation Act. Uh, I think this is a profound mistake. I think the President has been very ill-advised. Uh, but we will now move to override. That vote uh, could come as soon as today in the House of Representatives, uh, perhaps even today in the Senate. We believe we have the votes to override because our colleagues have had a chance now to study what's in this legislation, and they recognize that it's important for the country and certainly important for farmers and ranchers all across America, as well as those who are interested in nutrition for our kids, those who are the, le the least fortunate among us, and also the conservation aspects of this bill, which are critically important to conserving natural resources. And of course, uh, perhaps most important of all, the energy provisions to reduce our dependence on foreign oil. At a time when oil is over $125 a barrel, uh, you'd think that there would be a recognition in the White House that doing something about it is urgent. And this legislation acts on that imperative. You know, you saw the votes um, on the original passage of the conference report in both the House and the Senate. In the Senate, the margin was 5 to 1. In the House, the margin was 3 to 1. Uh, I believe there are the votes to override a president's veto because everyone knew when they cast their vote that it was facing a veto by the president. And again, uh, I'm disappointed that he's taken this action, uh, but I'm grateful that he did it quickly so that we can move to override so farmers will have some understanding what the rules of the road are for this growing season.